Hello out there in the interwebs, you have your tubes tuned to Kettle Brownie, and I am getting another quarry going, because I'm kind of getting low on stuff. I'm really low on gold, in fact, which is something I've actually been tearing through. So, I've actually got my quarry set up. I have it, um, <laughs> I made diamond chests, which are even bigger than gold chests. Look at that. I have my quarry set up through a tesseract through this thing, into those guys, into those guys, into those guys. And see, I think it's actually, it might be outpacing the uh, the quarry right now. So, in fact it almost certainly is since I don't have any speed upgrades in it at the moment. Because I had to take the old speed upgrade to be able to make this new speed upgrade. So let's see, let's see how quickly this thing will move with uh, with what? Speed 2 upgrade? Yeah, the speed 2 upgrade. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Boom. Alright. Woo! Falling. Yep, you can see where I took all the lava out. Alright, I want to see this thing go. I want to see this thing go. Now, oh, yes, we start off with a strip across the side here. How quickly do we go? How quickly do we go, little viewers? Uh oh. We're not making enough energy. We are not. Oh, maybe we are making enough energy. And, um, I was just being laggy. Yep. Okay. So it looks like. It looks like the major slowdown actually is it trying to place the, uh,. The items, yeah, you can see when it gets down to a new thing, it seems to have a little bit of issue. So, I think I'm gonna try to make even more speed upgrades for my um, for my node back at home, and see if I can get this thing moving at a pace for it to actually do stuff. So that's all I. Uh, no, that's not all I wanted to show you, because. <laughs> I've also got a couple of uh, nether stars, just a couple. Um, I actually just sent through almost all of my soul sand in the thing, so we should be getting about a stack, an additional stack or so of um, of nether stars. But I've got 36 right there. <laughs> so while we're here, let's go ahead and make the imbued sword. And I'll find I will no longer be using my rapier, which kind of makes me sad. I really do like the rapier; it's 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 a really cool thing. Um, so yes, to make the sword, you need to make three of the imbued nether stars because the rod requires another star too. <laughs> so let's get on it. Do 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 down the rabbit hole. Give me one, two, three of these. Back down the rabbit hole a little bit. Give me one, two, three of these. Now, mm, two and three. Two and three of these. Put one of them with some diamonds. Yeah, this is all the diamonds I have. I, I, um, went through and I mined all the diamond that I had to, with the fortune. So, yeah, I'm kind of low on stuff, little viewers. It probably blows your mind that I would that I would call almost 300 diamonds low on uh, on stuff. But yes, and now we have the imbued sword. This thing is ridiculously strong. Um, <laughs> I believe right now I can already one-shot um, Enderman. But it can be done even better because the imbued stuff can be enchanted. <laughs> so let's go ahead and enchant this bad boy then, huh? Do 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 do. Let's go with sharpness, of course. Let's go with looting. We don't need unbreaking. Uh, let's put the soul stealer on it just in case I, <laughs> in case there's any other sarge I want to make. There's one or two more soul shards that I want to make, but those will 
One might come soon, the other one not for a while. And let's just do knockback for for the fun of it. <laughs> I don't know what Soulbound does. Um, Flim Flam is mostly for PvP, so I'm not going to do it on this thing because I'm not doing any PvP. Um, do I want Fire Aspect? Yeah, I'll take Fire Aspect. That's way I, if I kill any animals with it, I can get cooked food instead of having to <laughs> take it somewhere. All right, so now we have ourselves one heck of a sword. <laughs> and ah, it's almost night time. Perfect. Did I take the... Oh, I didn't take the uh, Enderman spawner out of there. Well, I guess this will be a, uh, a decent show of it once these Endermen start spawning. Come on. Come on. I know you can do it. I know you can spawn Endermen. I've seen you do it before. No, you don't want to? You don't want to spawn some Endermen for me? Fine, I'll go kill a sheep. No, I'll go kill a pig. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Wind up and boom! <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see these zombies. Oh, there is actually um, one place that the uh, the rapier might be better, and that's way down in the bottom of the um, roguelike dungeons. The baddies all wear armor, so even though this thing has a ton of damage on it it doesn't have any armor penetration. Well, the rapier, uh, it almost ignores armor. It uh, it doesn't completely ignore armor, despite what it says, but it is really close to completely ignoring armor. But So yeah, down there in the roguelike dungeons, at the very bottom, I think the rapier is better. Just because I like the rapier. So, that'll do it for the moment. Um, what am I going to do? Uh, I think I'm going to cut out here and see how many more of these imbued swords I can make so that I can try to finish off the jailhouse. Um, I also am going to need to move the wither skeleton spawners somewhere else. I actually, well, let me go ahead and show you where I just started to dig out. Um, I'm going to be pulling the skeletons off of there because, well, I want them for their skulls. That's pretty much all I want them for. So if I want skulls, well, it'll be better to use cleavers than it is to use the imbued sword. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to just, um, heck, maybe just right here is, well, is where I'll start putting in the, uh, the room for the wither skeletons to spawn in. And I'll probably use fans. It seems like the, uh, having a whole bunch of treadmills kind of likes to kill your, uh, frames, but having just a couple like that isn't too bad. And the, f the fans don't seem to mess with your frame rate hardly at all. So, I'll be putting some fans down there, and doing some stuff, and hopefully when, you, when we come back, I'll have, I'll hopefully have this thing done. Or at least, uh, die! Ah. Anyway, um, I'll hopefully have it done, and, or at least have the, uh, the farm part of it finished. So, I shall see you soon, viewers. Hello out there in the interwebs. You have your tubes tuned to Kendall Brony, and I finished making the jail. Yes, yes I have. <coughs> Excuse me. I, um, I actually based it off of a picture of um, some county jail. I don't even remember the name of it anymore. I've got a nice tarred roof on it. That's, um, it's actually skystone covers that I used for it, and of course I've got my uh, blood torches all up on it. So let's go inside. I don't have it very furnished yet, um, and I should probably do something fancier with this. But this here just turns the uh, fans off and on, so I need to, I really do need to keep that on pretty much, well, as long as I have any spawns going. Up in here, you can see, right now I only have it set for witches, and they get blown by the fans and fall through the ghost blocks. Um, I did not make a uh, another ghost block floor up here just because I kinda like the open nature of it. I think it looks cool with it open. Hmm. And doo -doo -doo, the basement is really where 
the interesting stuff is oh and I made this um, this little dividing wall I guess you could call it because I'm gonna I want to make over here look um, like a you know secretarial type area booking files whatever and down here we have our switches we've got the witch switch we've got the wither skeleton switch and we've got the enderman switch I don't have the enderman switch on just because I don't really need any pearls right now um, wither farm is still going doing its thing over here you can see the uh, wither skeleton area I don't have it set up, I don't have it fancied up right now, and I'm probably not going to, because, well, it's in the basement. It's not really something that's, uh, that's getting shown to everyone. And I'll just go ahead and turn that on just so you can see. They spawn. <laughs> Sometimes they get stuck up there for a couple seconds, but because of the fans, they get blown off eventually. And I've got this, a little ghost block uh, thing for the access down here and I've got a bunch of autonomous activators set up to actually go on with a uh, redstone signal because the default activation speed is too slow it um, it will uh, clog up in here if you don't if you don't do this um, another thing you've got to make sure you do is if you if you use the autonomous activators with weapons in them how are these doing? these are doing fine you need to make sure that you have a vacuum hopper and a void fluid pipe or something to deal with all the experience that drops. This is, I think, the simplest way to do it. You just put the vacuum hopper and you go over here to the... Get off of this. Uh, there we go. You go over here to this and you make sure you give it an XP output for wherever you have the void pipe. And that will just pick up whatever XP uh, happens and then void it. So, I mean, if you have like bedrockium storage or other stuff like that, you can you can of course use that instead. But um, I don't really need it. So yeah, that's how this works. I've got four of them just going and killing those skeletons as quick as they get down here. And I've already got like eight thousand skulls. Yeah, almost eight thousand uh, nether uh, wither skulls and fourteen thousand bones. So that's why I had it turned off because I don't really need it anymore. Well, I don't need it uh, going 24/7 anyway, because it it easily outproduces um, <laughs> the wither killer. So I'll just turn that guy off. And the um, <laughs> the witches, I kind of still have a little bit. Well, theirs is also a little bit ghetto for me actually picking up my stuff because over here. It's just, you know, the big open hole. But I've got gunpowder, about a thousand of it. I've got redstone, about a thousand of that. And I've got glowstone, about a thousand of that too. And <laughs> I'm making a little bit of a mess with the XP over here. I might I might want to make a uh, another couple of vacuum hoppers with um, the void pipe on it. Um, I wonder if I could fix that just by putting a couple couple more blocks on the side there to keep the XP from shooting out that way and that way too but um, yeah same kind of setup um, except these do not have those wither killer those wither bane swords in them no these have the imbued swords with just looting each one of them has an imbued sword that's nine imbued swords that's um what is it eight times three times nine <laughs> 24, so, you know, about two stacks of, uh, <laughs> of nether stars to make all those swords. Um, and I'm still not going to make the imbued tool just yet. Um, speaking of the nether stars, I have increased all of my various uh, pickaxes. This one's up to minus squeed speed 42. I've put um, a nether star and a whole bunch of, and another uh, bunch of redstone on all of my stuff. So they're going even quicker now. The quarry is still doing its thing. It's doing its thing pretty well. Um, I haven't come through and pulled out you know, the flowers and stuff yet. Um, I probably should, but I'm not sure if I'm going to actually need to. Ooh, our armor is uh, getting pretty beat up, little viewers. It is getting pretty beat up. 
So, what is next on the list for today? Oh, I also want to show you over here at our altar. It is now tier five. Yes, tier five. I, like I said, I've been having a ton of uh, nether stars, so I made these beacons, and I used rune of the orb. Each of these runes of the orb increases the uh, my orb's capacity by two percent, and it's not multiplicative; it's uh, additive two percent. So there's 52 of these, so it's just over twice of what uh, this thing can hold. And I'm probably going to be replacing these runes of superior capacity. Probably going to replace those with, uh, with the orb ones too, just because, you know, it's cool to have more capacity in my altar, but I don't really need it. I uh, I don't really need it with the uh, well of suffering going on. It's just not not something that I need. Um, oh yes, also over here, uh, you can see I've got a couple of things set up on this. Well, I decided to automate making uh, the slates. So this chest is pretty simple. It's just a chest and a node into oh yes, and a hyper rationing pipe. You got to make sure you have a hyper rationing pipe because if you don't it will just keep on stuffing items into it and you can't have like a stack of stone it won't work it won't uh, be able to do anything with it so with a hyper rationing pipe it makes sure that it only puts one thing into whatever you're pointing it into so I can just load this chest full of stone and it will one at a time put it into here and then on this side I have this guy with an item filter just for the demonic slate that's the highest tier slate just for that and I've got it into a hopper just because, well, that's what I happen to have with me. <laughs> I had actually thought I could, you know, do the do it really easy and just plop a hopper right on right into it, but um, nope, you got to have that hyper rationing pipe or else it'll try to put a whole stack into it. So I just have to pop the hopper over here to act as my output for now. I might put a chest over here. I might not. I don't know. I I feel like I'm almost uh, I'm almost done with the whole, you know, making bunches and bunches of slates. So what else is there to do in uh, in Blood Magic? Well, I still don't have the next tier of my orb. And how do we get that? Well, we've got to play around with some other stuff. We need to play around with the actual alchemy stuff. Then I'm going to go ahead and punch down my reeds. Every time I see them full, I go over and I just beat them up. Just because I can always find a use for reeds. Mm. So, what are they going to do? Ah, oh, yes, we're going to play around with some alchemy. So, A L C H E M. Do 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 do. Wait for any to update. Oh, yeah, I I set this to uh, synchronize up here with the NEI because you know I have it set up too huge to be able to actually uh, click on it. So, this we need the alchemic ch chemistry set which we can do right now. Sweet. Alchemic chemistry set. So, I need that guy. And where am I going to put him? I'll just... Hmm. Let me get out ye olde blood lamp. I love this blood lamp single. I mean, if this was all that blood magic had, I think it would still be worth it to uh, do blood magic just because I love being able to just shoot lamps at stuff. So, boom. Alchemic uh, thingy. And look at that. You can do up to five different things and you get your output and you have to make sure you put a blood orb in there. So, let me just prove to you that my orb is increased. Boop. See? Current essence, 2,040,000. Uh, each of those little runes gives me, well, 20,000. Take a sleep. And... <laughs> what am I going to do? Um, there's one thing that I really want. It's called a potion flask. And one of my biggest gripes about the vanilla potions is that the... Um, the potions don't stack. So if you want to if you want to carry around a whole bunch of potion stuff, well too bad. <laughs> but with the um, blood magic stuff, you can make yourself a potion flask and boof! Potion flask and you can fill it up. I think you have to do it over here at this thing anyway. 
and you can use this to make yourself some cool potions. So I'm going to actually go and see what those cool potions are and see what else I need to do because I really want to get my next tier blood orb. And for that we have to do some alchemy. So I'm going to cut out now and we shall return when I have some stuff to show you. See you in a second. And I'm back, loyal viewers. So I got a couple of things uh, that I'm going to do. First, we're going to try to fill our thing here with regeneration. And I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. Does it go there? How do you tell if it's working? <laughs> Um, do I need to put gas tears everywhere? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll come back to the potion flask. For now, I'm going to make a catalyst, which is like this. And, oh, that's how you tell you where it's working. You get your little blood swirls going. Bloop. Awesome. We made our catalyst. Let's see, if I put those back, do I get the swirls? Nope. What if I do that? Nope. Alright, well, I'll look up how to do that <laughs> again later. But I'm also going to be making Terre. Doop. There we go. Because to get your, um, yeah. To get the next tier of, um, orb you need to summon a thing and specifically you need to summon an elemental so we're gonna go back to our favorite little island for for doing uh... magical stuff and boop. make sure that i have my bound blade very good because you gotta make sure you kill it with the bound blade so we need a nice flat area. I think I think this is flat enough. So boom, flint, arcane plinth, and then I think it's how do we do it? <laughs> I've got it uh, where. Of course, I don't have it uh, set up nice and easy. I'll just let you guys stare at that for a second while I go here. All right. <laughs> oh, where did I go? I'm on the wiki, and I have the summoning page slowly going up. There we go. Um, alright. Okay, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. Back to game. Here we go there. 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 Whing. And here. And then... I believe I just have to do that, and oh, I bet you I gotta hit it with the uh, with the activation crystal. Yeah. Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, I thought I was prepared, loyal viewers. I wasn't. I was wrong. I was so wrong. Order summon. Do the thing. Decisive tier. Yes, there's multiple tiers for summoning. Um, blood orb. Okay, so I've got to put my orb on it, which I left over in the um, <laughs> in the chemistry set. Um, yeah, I'll I'll use this orb, even if this orb explodes. Well. I will hopefully be getting another one. <laughs> A better one. Give me that. Alright. Now then. Um, there's a bunch of different elementals you can summon. I've decided to go with an earth elemental. That seems like something uh, nice and straightforward to beat up on. Alright, so we do that. And then... Hmm... I put my blood orb on it. <laughs> this is just going swimmingly. 
right? Elementals. Uh, oh, I need uh, I need six of the uh, of the appropriate ingredient, not just one. Her derp. So I'll be back in a moment, low of yours, while I make five more uh, terries. So back in a second. And I'm back, little viewers, and I just wanted to show you this. You can put more than one of each ingredient in your, uh, in your alchemic chemistry set, and it will, you know, it'll burn through them. So you can just put all your ingredients in there for however many things you want to summon, and then you, you know, you let it go, and then, boom, you're all ready to go. And, of course, I was silly, and forgot how to count. <laughs> I forgot how to count. I am one shy of um, of the terries. So yeah, you saw that I had ten glowstone in my uh, in my uh, thing in here. Redstone. You can hear the stove going. Sugar. Gunpowder. So much stuff you gotta do for this too. Jeez. Obsidian. Just two of these. A dirt. And a sand. And give me that. And dive into our bed. Run, 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 run. <laughs> uh, so yes, what am I going to be doing after this? After we, um, if we get our new blood orb going, I think. Well, I'm still deciding on what exactly to do because. I'd like to um, get working on the fast food place that I was talking about putting on top of this. Um, I've actually looked at a whole bunch of the Harvest Craft stuff, Pam's Harvest Craft stuff. Um, <laughs> so that could be a thing. Um, I'm probably going, there's a lot of cool stuff in the Harvest Craft. There's a ton of different things you can grow, and I might make an arcology for that, or I might just make a uh, a little greenhouse uh, if I want to do like a micro farm. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see about that. All right, now then, finally got this thing. So, and I also I also really need to get some uh, villagers over here so I can try trading and get my emerald tower going because sleeping out in the rain is kind of not really doing it for me anymore. Yeah, I think I might see about getting some uh, villages over here. Alright, so there's those, and of course, I forgot my orb. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at my frames chug. Been playing this all day, little viewers, and my computer is like, why? Why would you do this to me? I thought you were my friend. Alright, come here, you. Flying back and forth and back and forth. I mean, I know I shouldn't do all my stuff way out here in this little dinky island, but I'm going to anyway because, you know, it's nice and away from everything. And if I manage to set the entire thing on fire, well, I won't burn my base down. <laughs> and you might say, Kendall, you won't, you won't set the entire thing on fire. You have far more trust in these mods than I do, little viewer. All right, here we go. See, look at that fire going. Alright, got my bound blade, blade, because once it strikes all these, a little bit close, a little bit close, and then it should strike the center. There it is. That's an earth elemental. Whoa! And he wants my face. He wants my face. You don't get my face. It's my face. I'm going to get your face. Where'd you go? Hold still, you. Haha, -ha, victory! Demon blood shard! Now, I don't know why, because you can summon demons, but um, elementals are the only ones that give you the demon blood shard. So, I don't know why you have to summon an elemental to get a demon blood shard. I don't know. I didn't make this mod. But, this is going to be some kind of magic, I think. Boop. So, it takes 75,000 blood, but, well, we make ridiculous amounts of blood, don't we, don't we loyal viewers? We make so much blood that this thing isn't going to take very long at all to pop off. So, 
I think for next time, I'm not going to do the um, the fast food place yet. I'm going to see about moving some villagers in. Because, oh, bing, there we go. Archmage blood thing. So right now it shows that I have just over 2 million in there. Well, this thing here can hold 10 million all on its lonesome. But since I have all of these, uh, not those ones, these runes in here, it should be holding um, 20 million and change. I think that's how much it can hold. Oh, <laughs> it helps if you, because remember, whenever you get your new blood orb, you gotta right click and bind it to you. Then put it on your altar. And now we're getting life points for days. Alright, so that's gonna do it for this episode, loyal viewers. Uh, I might just integrate this into, uh, I don't know, put it down here somewhere so that it's not just, you know, not just sitting right there. In fact, let's pick this thing up. Come here. Uh, what should I do with this? I don't know. I'll figure out what to do with it later because, well, I really do want to get the, um, I want to figure out how to get this potion flask going. I hope I don't need to have five gas tiers because that's not very efficient, my viewers. I might need filling agents. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll look into it more off camera. So, yes, for today, we got our our jail built. <laughs> and we got our new blood orb. And this guy... Did he already drain it dry? Did you already suck it dry? You sure did. <laughs> wow. That's amazing that he can drink in... <laughs> that he can drink it in that quick. Alright, well... That's going to do it for this episode, little viewers. Next episode, um, I think I'm going to make myself a lot of golden lassos, and we're going to go uh, wrangle up some villagers. <laughs> so, until next time, little viewers, I shall catch you on the flip side. Laters.